Stay tuned for a giveaway. Today, I'm bringing you 10 profitable $1 trade-ups that you can do right now. Keep in mind that these trade-ups all have the most updated prices at the time I'm recording this, but always make sure you double check the prices on your own to see if they're still profitable before doing them. Skin prices are always changing and I'd hate to see you lose money. Without any further ado, let me show you these insane $1 trade-ups. Before I get into it, today's sponsor GamerPay wants to sponsor you with a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 fade for example. Currently the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay has no buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free 5 euros today. Today's first trade up consists of 10 minimal air mil spec skins from the Dreams and Nightmares case below a 0.0921 average float. Make sure to get each input for 8 cents or less. This trade up costs around 80 cents total and has a 113.75% profitability after steam fees, with a massive 80% chance to profit each time. As long as we don't see the Dream Glade, we'll be happy, but we're obviously hoping for the USPS or the M4A1S since they're the most profitable. Alright, boys, first $1 trade up of the video. We want to see the USPS or the A1S. Any silenced weapon is going to be the most profit, but as long as we don't see the Dream Glade, we're lit. Three, two, one, silenced weapon. Uh, that's still good. It's the worst profit outcome, but I mean, we'll take it. 12 cents profit. I mean, you really can't, you can't complain. You just can't. The second trade up consists of 10 field tested mil spec skins from the breakout case below a 0.175 average float. Now I know 0.175 seems ridiculously low, but if we use this handy float information tool, you can see that on average around 75% of all ump labyrinths would be usable. I plan on making a video about this tool going into more depth later on, but for now, if you're setting buy orders for this trade up, just take my word and do it for the ump. This trade up costs around 80 cents total and has a 112.5% profitability after steam fees with a 50% chance to profit each time. There are only four outcomes, and all we want to see is the Nova Koi or the P250 Supernova. Alright boys, 50% chance to profit here. Show us the P250 or the Nova. Three, two, one, boom! Let's go! Let's go, baby. 41 cent profit on that. Let's go. You can't ask for anything better. Today's third trade up consists of 10 field tested mil spec skins from the kilowatt case below a 0.223 average float. Luckily, these floats are super accessible since they're quite high. Make sure to get each input for 9 cents or less. This trade up costs 90 cents total and has a 104.44% profitability with a 40% chance to profit each time. Of the five outcomes, all we want here are the Glock and the Sawed Off. Alright, trade up number three. We're in the profit. We have haven't missed a single trade up yet so hopefully that doesn't start here but it is likely because we have a 60 percent chance to miss but if we see that block 18 that's 45 cents of profit also the cool thing about this trade up is these floats are super easy to get so go try this one out for yourself show us the block 18 three two one boom Let's go. That's the other profit outcome. We'll take that. It wasn't the block 18, but it was the analog input. 28 cents of profit. Let's go, baby. The next trade-up consists of 10 minimal wear mil spec skins from the clutch case below 0.0875 average float. Make sure to get each input for 9 cents or less. This trade-up costs around 90 cents total and has a 107.78% profitability after steam fees with an 80% chance to profit each time. Of the five outcomes, four of them are profitable, so we're almost guaranteed to be happy here. You know what, boys? I'm feeling good today. I know I just said it, but I'm going to say it again until we miss. We have not missed yet, and I don't think it's happening here. 80% chance to profit. We want to see the Glock, though. Three, two, one. Moonrise. Hey, still profit. We just didn't want to see the Mag 7, and we didn't see it. We'll take that second best option, 17 cents of profit. The next trade up consists of 10 minimal wear mil spec skins from the Revolution case below 0.0875 average float. Make sure to get each input for 10 cents or less. This trade up costs around $1 total and has a 122% profitability after steam fees, with a 60% chance to profit each time. Three of the five outcomes are profitable, but the best option is easily the M4A1S M4Asaurus for over $1 of profit. Trade up number five, 60% chance to profit. Unless you're trading on a third party site, then you have an 80% chance. But for us, 60% chance to profit. Will we continue to make money in three, in two, in one? Boom. 
Let's go. That's the best outcome. Yo, what is happening today? Yo, I wish I could get this type of luck on more expensive trade-ups, but holy. I mean, I'm not going to complain. That's money right there. That's over a dollar. That's more than we put in. Let's go, dude. The next trade-up consists of 10 stat track field-tested mill spike skins from the Dreams and Nightmares case below a 0.1973 average float. Make sure to get each input for 10 cents or less. This trade-up costs around $1 total and has a 124% profitability after steam fees with a 60% chance to profit each time. Two of the outcomes are for a loss and one is break even but the M4A1S and USPS are each around a $1 profit. All right, boys, we're five for five. Again, I don't want to jinx it, but I don't think I've ever gone an entire video without missing. Is today going to be the first day? No misses. Uh, if we, you know what? If we hit the bison on this, I'm not going to count it as a miss because it's exactly break even. So we essentially have a 60% chance to hit here. Three, two, one, silenced weapon. All right, I fully jinxed it. This is the worst outcome. 66 cent loss. But I mean, that doesn't even, it doesn't even like, it doesn't even equal out with the last trade up of profit. So we're still up heavily. I'm giving away this stat track factory new P2000 acid etched. To enter, like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment your favorite trade up I show today. Plus make sure you have your steam trade link in your YouTube bio. The next trade up consists of four minimal wear mil spec skins from the fracture case and six field tested mil spec skins from the revolver case below a 0.15 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the minimal wear skins below a 0.09 float and the field tested skins below a 0.15 float. Make sure to get the minimal wear skins for 9 cents or less and the field tested skins for 11 cents or less. This trade up costs right around $1 total and has a 121.57% profitability with a 64.29% chance to profit each time. Six of the 11 outcomes are profitable, all of which being from the revolver case. All right, trade up number seven. This is a big one. There are 11 outcomes. I don't have them all memorized, so I'm gonna have to take a peek after we hit whatever we get. So let's see it though. I know the Negev is the best outcome. That's what we want to see. Negev power loader. Three, two, one. Yellow skin. Oh, we actually hit it. No way. Wait, that's insane. 10% chance. Best outcome. That's like $2 of profit. Let's go, dude. Come on. I did not think we were hitting that. Let's go, baby. I don't even have to take a look. I know this is the best outcome and we got it. The eighth trade up consists of 10 stat track field tested mil spec skins from the recoil case below a 0.214 average float. Make sure to get each input for 12 cents or less. This trade up costs around $1.20 total and has a 120.83% profitability after steam fees with a 60% chance to profit each time. The three profitable outcomes are the SG, M249, and P90, each for around 70 cents of profit. All right, boys, trade up number eight. We're very in the green, so I'm not going to be mad if we miss, but let's hope to see that SG Dragon Tech for the most profit. All the profit outcomes are pretty good profit, though, so like I wouldn't complain with the other ones. Three, two, one, SG. Oh, that's okay. That's still a profit outcome. 62 cents of profit. Not bad. The SG was only 77, so I mean, we're still like very close to that. Let's go. The penultimate trade up consists of five minimal wear mil spec skins from the breakout case and five field tested mil spec skins from the shadow case below a 0.15 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the minimal wear skins below a 0.095 float and the field tested skins below a 0.205 float. This trade up costs around $1.50 total and has a 115.33% profitability after steam fees with a 50% chance to profit each time. Of the eight outcomes, all four profitable ones are from the shadow case all right trade up number nine the next video i'm about to film has a lot more expensive trade ups and therefore is a lot higher stakes so i'm kind of feeling like i'm wasting my luck on these cheap trade ups but luck is luck profit is profit who cares we're making money for now we can't think about what's gonna happen later let's see a galil stone cold here to keep the flow coming three two one galil Ooh. That is the second best outcome, and this is also one of my favorite skins in the entire game, dude. If this skin was on any other gun but the M249, or I guess the Negev, like, this would be worth a lot more money, dude. This thing is so sick. Like, the pinball vibe, sheesh, man. Like, this thing is so fire. Comment if you agree. I love this thing. But yeah, that's a dollar and six cents of profit. So let's move on to the final contract of the video. The tenth and final trade-up consists of three factory new mil spec skins from the Dreams and Nightmares case, and seven minimal air mil 
spec skins from the Snakebite case below a 0.07 average float. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the factory new skins below a 0.023 float and the minimal wear skins below a 0.09 float. Make sure to get the factory new skins for 16 cents or less and the minimal wear skins for 21 cents or less. This trinum costs around $1.95 total and has a 118.97% profitability after steam fees with a small 28% chance to profit. Of the 10 outcomes, only two are profitable, but this trade-up is crazy because if we hit the factory new AK slate, it's for nearly $7 of profit. Tenth and final trade-up of the video. We've been super lucky. I think we've only missed one trade-up of the nine we've done so far, but I'm not gonna lie, I think our luck has just run out because we only have a 28% chance to profit here, but we have a 14% chance at $6.50 of profit. If we see that AK slate, I'm gonna be very hyped. Show me profit. One fourth chance in three, two, one. Boom. Ooh, that's still profit. Wait, how did we hit that, man? Wait, we actually hit the trigger discipline. This is also a 14% chance. 70 cents of profit, not as good as the AK. I mean, by a long shot, but still profit. We didn't lose money on that. Yo, you know what? This has been a good day, bro. Nine of 10, I think. Nine of 10 for profit. That's super good. Let me quickly do the math and see how much money we made. All right, as you can see, these are the 10 skins we made out with. Not the snipe, obviously. I mean, this thing is looking pretty good. About to give this one away, actually. But that's besides the point. We made $5.48 of profit, which is pretty good if you think about how much we wagered. We only put up like $12 or something like that, and we made back $5.48. So we ended with like, technically we would have ended with like $17 total if we had a $12 balance, which is super good. $5.48, man. Like, not bad at all. Pretty great margins, if you ask me. But yeah, it was definitely a good day overall. I hope you found some of these trade-ups useful, and hopefully you can even go profit for yourself. On top of the video giveaways, I also do weekly giveaways in my Discord server, so check out the link in the bio if you want to join that. And I'm also giving away this Bowie knife freehand when we hit 30,000 subscribers. So the link to enter that giveaway is in the description below as well. Peace out, guys. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.